I purchased a child's bathrobe this summer, and it's come in handier than you could imagine. So, as many may know, I am a strong believer in the power of thrift shopping. I support it fully and believe in it with all of my heart. And this past summer, I did quite a bit of thrift shopping. A hefty amount. On one such trip, near the end of the summer, I was bringing my bounty of pre-owned goods to the front of the store to check out, when suddenly, a colorful article on a rack near the front caught my eye. I stopped in my tracks. It was a bright blue Spider-Man bathrobe, with images of Spidey's face all over it, with little Spider-Sense tingly lines surrounding it. If you're familiar with Spider-Man comics and the artwork therein, you'll know what I'm talking about. My favorite superhero of all time in the history of the universe, ever. I immediately abandoned my plans of checking out and walked over to inspect this captivating item. When I took it gently in my hands, I realized that it was fleece, even better than I thought, soft and cozy. I also realized upon closer inspection that it was a child's robe. But as a great man once said, no sacrifice, no victory. Shia LaBeouf in Transformers. I've quoted him before and it didn't make sense. Now it makes even less sense here, so. So, not one to give up easily, I pulled the robe on. And here it is. Here's what I've learned. The sleeves are very short, not quite reaching the elbows even. The tie that's supposed to go around your waist hits right below my armpits. Awesome. And the bottom of the robe doesn't even come close to reaching my knees, which translates to very minimal thigh coverage. And yet I love it more than anything, ever since that first day in the thrift store. Love at first sight. Or first feel, you might say. But that sounds weird, so let's not say that one. Anyway, of course I purchased it on the spot, because I knew if I didn't it was sure to be snapped up by some lucky young adult college student that wasn't me. And upon returning home, I was met with much criticism. My parents asked me in what situations I would actually wear it, and I didn't even dare show it to my sister because I knew that she would just rip me apart for buying it, and I'd never hear the end of it. And it would be brought up again later in family gatherings when we're old and bitter and obsessed with rehashing the past. Healthy. Clearly I have a sunny view of my later years. But I didn't listen to the naysayers, the flim flammers, you know. That's not a phrase. I just pulled the waist tie out of the belt loops, moved it lower so that it was actually around my waist, and wore the get up proudly. I sent a picture of myself modeling the robe to a wonderful individual I am especially close to. And she showed it to her entire family. And I believe they all laughed at me, and probably silently questioned my sanity, which is fair but at least they didn't berate me and insult me for my stylistic choice, as my own family did. At this point, due to its short sleeves and odd fit, I started lovingly referring to the article as the Spider-Man kimono. Anyway, I remained confident in my acquisition, and so, naturally, I brought the robe to school with me. I started wearing it to lounge about the house, and it earned a strong reaction from my roommates. A lot of laughing and exasperated sighing, but it is cozy and comfortable and convenient, easy and quick to throw on and off, so I enjoy wearing it immensely. And so do others, such as the wonderful individual I mentioned earlier who showed the picture to her family. I've lent it to her several times, and she seems to be a fan, too. I hope. I also went to a lovely sorority date party with her, essentially a dance and karaoke event where the theme happened to be why is that in your closet? And of course I wore the Spidey kimono, and it killed. I got a lot of positive feedback, and she wore a Minnie Mouse onesie, and everything really just came together. I mean, we were the talk of the town. The bell of the ball, so to speak. And it was an amazing night. I mean, side note, I did learn that fleece doesn't hold up well when paired with the unrelenting sweat that my dancing produces. But still, I couldn't have been happier. And I guess that's the lesson here. Fashion, and style in general, really, is a personal statement, a dramatic form of individual expression. So don't let others dictate what your style should be, or judge and decide what's acceptable or appropriate or attractive for you. You choose your own style. You make your own way. Because it's a fantastically freeing experience, and trust me, it will lead to happiness. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go track down a pair of Indiana Jones slippers. Will they make me happy? Absolutely. Will they probably only come in child sizes and not fit my giant feet? Most likely, but I'm not giving up without a fight. I'll catch you later.